you've been watching my videos for a while now, especially if you started earlier in the year when I started to grow subscribers and I started to get more views and more people started watching my vids, you noticed early on I would always ask for subscribers in my videos, but you noticed recently I stopped doing that. And I'm going to explain why I stopped doing that. Because I feel, personally, people are going to subscribe on their own free will. I feel people watch my videos and they like what they see and they want to subscribe to see more. They're going to do that on their own. And the same thing goes when I'm watching other people's vids. I mean, I always see different channels. Of course, they're always looking for subscribers. Before anyone gets mad, I understand what's going on. You're in the business of getting views. You feel the more subscribers you have, the more people are going to be following your videos. They're going to see videos pop up in their feed. And that means you, know, you grow your channel in the long term. More subscribers in the long term equals more views. I understand that. I understand that philosophy and that way of thinking. I'm not knocking people at all for it because especially those that are trying to break out and do YouTube full time. I understand exactly what you're doing. I know what you're doing. You want as much subscribers and as many views as possible so you can do it full time. I respect you for doing what you got to do. All I'm saying is the reason I don't do that because I feel people are going to subscribe on their own free will regardless. I mean, I feel the exact same way from my experience watching other people's videos. If I'm watching other vids and I feel like subscribing either to support, you know, fellow content creators talking Philly sports or if I really like what that person's got to say and I want to see more of their vids, I'm going to choose to do that by my choice. So I'm going to subscribe because I feel like it. I'm not going to, you know, go there just because other people say so. And I didn't know exactly why they're doing it. But look, at the end of the day, people are going to do so on their own free will. If they want to subscribe either to support fellow content creators or they like what you got to say, they're going to do that on their own. And that's just the way it works. So I don't feel like it's necessary to constantly ask for subscribers every video because... People are going to do that on their own free will regardless. I mean, I've gotten a few shout-outs before where people shared videos, and I appreciate that. I appreciate some of the shares I've gotten and the shout-outs I've gotten. Yeah, because I've had a few people like Desert Eagle 90 shared a couple videos here and there that I've done. I, know, I did a response back in February to EFPN TV when he did a video about Eagles Big 3. He was in favor of them drafting Kyle Pitts. I made a video response to that. In his follow-up video, he gave me a shout-out for doing a video response. And I appreciate those shout-outs that I get. I appreciate when people share my videos. Or a few weeks ago, MK did a Thoughts on Philly Content Creators vid. He gave me a shout-out at the end of his vid. I appreciate that. I left a comment in the comment section of that of those vids. Especially the vids where people mention me saying, Hey, thank you for the shout-out. So I appreciate that. Although I feel like when it comes to asking for subscribers, Hey, people are going to do that on their own free will. So that's the reason I don't come on here at the end of every video and say, please make sure you hit the subscribe button like I used to. And so that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to clear up the air on that. And that's all. Everyone watching, have a wonderful day or night. It's Nikki Stee signing off. I'll see you next time. We'll be back later this week to talk about the 49ers game. And I'll talk about that game sometime late Sunday, early Monday after it happens. Peace.